quilty friends. I'm Natalia Bonner. Today is day 53. Today I'll be stitching with my four in one machine quilting ruler. Let's get stitching. I'll begin by using a Mark Be Gone marker and mark a straight line, a straight vertical line right through the center of my block. After I've marked that line, I'll begin stitching in the lower corner. And then from there, I'll stitch point to point curves from the lower corner to the top center point on my block. From that top center point, I'll stitch back to the opposite corner. Now I will go through my block and mark reference points along that center line. Now this is something you could have done before you started any of your quilting. I mark those reference lines along the, along the mark line at every two inches. From the lower corner, I will stitch a curved line up to that mark point, adjust my machine quilting ruler, and then stitch back to the opposite corner. I'll repeat that process so that I have three of those nice curves going through the center of my block. After I've stitched out those curves, then I'll go through and add echo stitching to the outside of the design. To stitch the echoes, I'll adjust my machine quilting ruler, my four in one ruler, so that my first marked line on the machine quilting ruler intersects with my previous stitch line. It lays right on top of it. I'll stitch along the ditch, to adjust and then continue filling in until I filled in those top sections completely. I'll stitch in the ditch around the outside of the block and then spritz away those marked lines. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow. Thank you.